So many people have done reviews of Back to the Future for the NES that I thought it would be rather pointless for me to do one of my own. After all, what could I say that everyone else hasn't said already? Only Play at Bogart had a dissenting view, and I found his review very interesting, even though I didn't agree with it. Anyway, I figured, instead of doing a regular review, why not do a rant or a critical commentary on one of the minigames in this piece of shit? And why not start with the first one, Lou's Cafe? So anyway, let's get into it. Back to the Future for the NES, Lou's Cafe, the rant or critical commentary or whatever the hell you want to call it. Bullies to go. Oh, ha ha. First off, I gotta say that this is one of the stupidest fucking ideas I've ever seen for a video game. I mean, think how stupid this would be in any other game, like, say, Star Wars. Imagine Luke in the cantina throwing beer mugs at Greedos coming at him. Or Carrie in the gym shower throwing bloody tampons at naked teenage bullies coming at her. Anyway, you have to defeat at least 50 of these bullies coming at you, or else you have to go back to the last stage. My question is, why the fuck does he have to throw all these root beer floats at these bullies if he's standing right next to the fucking door? Why the fuck doesn't he just run out of there like he did in the goddamn movie? But oh no, he's gotta stick around and throw root beer floats. You'd think maybe they'd try a different strategy considering how this one ain't working, but nope, they just keep on coming. I lost count how many times it took me to beat this fucking level. 10, 20, 30, and look at this dumb bitch here. She comes in, she leaves. Why don't you maybe call the cops, lady? She does give you a super shake to defeat all the enemies, but funny enough, I didn't need it in this playthrough. Don't ask me why. Played Bogart did give a good piece of advice in his review. I thought that Marty and the bullies roam free, but apparently that's not the case. There are like seven invisible lines, and if you can line Marty up with the bullies each time, you can nail them all. And here comes the dumb bitch again! Hey, how about you leave all the super shakes at once so I could defeat all these assholes more quickly? And another thing, if there are 99 bullies, why don't they just all fucking rush at me at once? I don't think even Marty McFly could sling drinks that fast. It's like those martial arts movies where the bad guys attack the hero one at a time. The worst thing of all is that this might have been a decent minigame if you didn't have to defeat 50 bullies. If it was just done for extra points, then you could say, alright, it's annoying, but not too bad. But no, the game requires you to beat it. The only advice I can give for beating this minigame is to keep your eye on the left side of the screen and throw as many sodas as you can. Yeah, like that helps. The only way this minigame could be even more awful is that they put that fucking repetitive music in here. Oh yay, I beat the level! Hooray for me! Then the crappy music kicks in again and you go back to the same old shit. So in conclusion, this minigame is a complete fucking waste of time. I hate the idea of it, I hate playing it, and I hate the fact that they put it in the fucking game at all. This is Film and Stuff signing off. Thanks for watching. If there are 99 bullies, why don't they just all fucking rush at me at once?